Hey folks, Technivers here. Today we are talking about the Creelty CR6 SE again. We're going to touch on it momentarily, the brief problem that they had, and some of the details about what exactly the issue was. But basically, you don't need to worry about the thing catching on fire. And we'll go over exactly why on 3D Thursday. The Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. All right, so some of you may have seen my video. I know um, one or two users kind of found it found it upsetting. They weren't happy. They thought it was being kind of sensationalist. You know, um, it, Creelty being such a big brand, we expect a little bit more from them, and nine times out of ten, they deliver. In fact, probably even a better success rate than that. And I was really, really impressed with the speed at which they responded to these claims of smoking from their machines and their dedicated response to it. Now, you'll see in a moment when I show you their actual response they posted on Twitter that logs the event and tells you exactly what happened, that they did dedicate the time and resources needed to finding and fixing this problem. So we'll go over all of that in just a second. I just wanted to say that I, I was in no way dogging Creality, as I've said many times. My first machine, my Ender 3, is probably my favorite, and it is a really really quality machine now I may be a little bit biased because it was my first and you know what they say you never forget your first this is it this is the CR6 SE event declaration now it says here and I will read it to you dear Creality supporters now bear in mind that some of this is not the best English but still you gotta applaud these guys for doing everything that they can to save face and, and make sure that their name isn't tarnished as well it shouldn't be I mean they're, they're taking the high road here and doing the right thing so uh, it says, we're sorry for the late declaration. For the CR6 SE smoke event, we have made a profound investigated look to find the specific cause. Now the solutions are as follows. The reason is the IC abnormality of power supply in motherboard. As we all know, the chip is mainly used for power conversion to power the motor. It means the voltage reduces from 24 volts to 12 volts so as to make the printing more stable. When we receive the abnormal feedback of the CR6 SE, the company immediately creates a professional team to carry out overnight investigation. Creality, all departments actively cooperate with the internal investigation. So basically, they're saying that they set up a, a task force, basically, to go in and tackle this problem and, and work until they figured out what the problem was. And it took them about three hours, as you can see here. Only three hours has been taken to find out the abnormal motherboard. After testing a 1,000 pieces of printers, 20,000 pieces of PCBA board, we conclude that the abnormal rate is 0.15%. So that is 15% of 1%. So very, very minute possibility of the smoke event happening to you. So uh, they make sure the abnormal motherboard, they rework all machines and motherboards in the warehouse, meaning that they stopped production, eliminated the problem, and there will no longer be a problem going forward. And it says that we suggest that those who receive CR6SE printers don't need to worry about quality issues. The Creelty team guarantees that the CR6 SE is made of fireproof material, and also this abnormality will not cause the machines to catch fire. So they're saying that if your machine does start smoking, uh, they have a pretty good system. They will replace the machine, but you don't really need to worry about it bursting into flames. That hasn't happened yet, and it, according to them, will not happen. And I tend to believe them. I mean, they're pretty well on top of this, and it seems like they did their fair share of portion testing. So, I mean, uh, a thousand pieces of printers and, and 20,000 different PCBA boards with very, very minor problems, uh, depending on how many units they've gotten out already, which I can tell you isn't a ton. I mean, it's a fair amount, but there can't be that many out there that actually have this error. And if you do, um, they're pretty confident it won't actually cause a fire. So there you have it. I just wanted to clear that up. You know, like I said, Creelty is an amazing company. I have their LD002R resin printer sitting right behind me. I have a Ender 3 version 2 on its way. In fact, there are two of them, and if you'd like to enter a contest to win one of them, I will put a link to that in the description down below. In that video, you will find the rules for contest entry and how you can enter to win your own. You will have to work for it. I mean, nothing is free, but uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see the Ender 3 version 2 when it arrives. We're going to be doing an unboxing, and I think I may do that live around September 23rd. The package is supposed to be here on the 20th. The 23rd is my birthday, so I think maybe we will make something work. 
to do a birthday live stream and an unboxing of the Ender 3 version 2 at the same time. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit that notification bell down below and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's going to be it for Technivorous on 3D Thursday this Thursday, and we will see you guys next week. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.